Kyle Lowry on his way out of Toronto? It's possible. What's going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk. Back at it with another video talking some NBA, talking Kyle Lowry, NBA playoffs after the Raptors again get swept by the Cleveland Cavaliers. And basically, Kyle Lowry says the gap on Cleveland and everybody else in the East is LeBron James, and it's not getting close anytime soon. Basically admitting, I'm tired of getting my you-know-what kicked by LeBron every year. So, Lowry opts out of his deal with the Raptors, which means he is going to be an unrestricted free agent this season, which, of course, begs the question, is he going to leave the Toronto Raptors, or is he going to stay? Now, Lowry has come out and said that the most important thing for him with this next team that he picks, whoever that team is, is the ability for him to win a ring. He was asked, what does he want right now and what is his free agent des destination going to be based off of? And he said, a ring, period, that's all he wants. Well, then the easy answer would be to just say to Kyle Lowry to leave Toronto, of course, because they keep running into the juggernaut that is LeBron James every year. But it gets more complicated than that. See, first and foremost, the Raptors can offer Kyle Lowry the most money by far out of any team. I believe it's about five years, 200 plus million dollars. The best any other team could do if Kyle Lowry does decide to leave would be four years and about 153 million around that. So you're talking about an extra year and about 47 to 50 million dollars that you're passing up on if you're Kyle Lowry who you're not getting any younger this is the last big deal you are probably going to get but hey listen if he wants to win a ring this is what he's going to have to give up right so then let's look at potential destinations okay a couple of teams that I'm thinking of and there's not really that many teams out there uh, that would be a contender right away with Kyle Lowry so let's get right into it see I thought about a team like maybe Indiana, right? The Pacers and teaming up with Paul George, Jeff Teague's a free agent, so they would have an upgrade at point guard. But here's the thing. If Kyle Lowry really wants to leave, he probably doesn't want to stay in the East because he probably doesn't want to keep facing LeBron James. So in that scenario, let's go out West and look at the teams in the West. And here we run into another roadblock because a lot of the teams in the West, especially good teams, have their point guard position filled. The Blazers have Damian Lillard. The Grizzlies have Mike Conley. The, uh, let's see, uh, the Warriors have Steph Curry, of course. The Thunder have Russell Westbrook. So then you start running out of options. And then the two teams, of course, that I can think of as potential fits are one, the San Antonio Spurs, and then two, the Houston Rockets. These are the only two teams that I see that Kyle Lowry can go to and have a chance to compete for a championship. A chance, okay? And here's the thing. Let's talk the Spurs first, okay? Of course, Tony Parker uh, out for the season with, I believe, what was a ruptured uh, quad. Uh, it was a pretty bad injury. And who knows what the future holds for Tony Parker, but he is still under contract. So the Spurs would really, really have to sort of maneuver something uh, within their salary cap because with their situation and their salary cap, they cannot afford Kyle Lowry. They're going to have to clean some salaries off or they're going to have to do a sign and trade. But then you get Kyle Lowry and then you'd have Kawhi Leonard and you'd have LaMarcus Aldridge and you'd have a pretty good upgrade at point guard and the Spurs would of course be a contender for the championship. I still don't think that would put them up above the Warriors, but hey, it would give them a puncher's chance. Then you look at the Houston Rockets, and Kyle Lowry actually used to be on the Rockets, which is funny. And they have Patrick Beverly, but Lowry would be an upgrade over Beverly for sure. Same situation with the salary cap here. Houston does not have as much salary left to offer, even if the salary, even though the salary cap is going up. So they are also going to have to maneuver a sign and trade with the Raptors. So, uh, but then you would look at Kyle Lowry with James Harden and those shooters around them, Eric Gordon, Lou Williams, Ariza, Ryan Anderson, and that sounds pretty enticing. So those are the only two teams that I see. But then you look at the situation he's in right now, Toronto situation, I mean, it isn't too bad. Look, what if LeBron gets hurt again? He probably won't, but I'm just saying. And the Raptors, again, can offer the most money. I find it very, very hard to believe that Lowry will find a situation that gets him a ring, a chance at a ring, 
and the money that he wants. That's entirely too much money, I believe, for him to pass up on. But if he would like to do that, the Spurs and the Rockets are the only two teams, legitimate contenders that I see. If not, then he's going to have to go to a young team like a Philadelphia or something and maybe wait for them to develop because they've got, they've got Ben Simmons coming back, Joel Embiid's going to be a stud. And so you look at it, the situation like that. But for me, I don't see too many options out there for Kyle Lowry. If he wants to chase a ring, he's going to have to take a significant pay cut. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Kyle Lowry leaves the Toronto Raptors? Leave a comment down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.